So I had to put a hat on because <gasps> you just snatched it off on camera like that. I showed it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Kylie. Greetings, nice to meet you. So today, um, I'm going to be recording how I do my soft locks. This is not even all the hair. I have six packs of hair. But we gonna, we, we gonna get to that later. So I'm doing basically gonna be doing a tutorial on how I do my soft locks um I already braided my hair I'm gonna show you all that later so to start I already braided my hair into like little oh jeez I already braided my hair into little individuals so I can't I don't know if y'all really see um like the parts and stuff basically just went ahead and braided all my hair into little individual pieces um yeah you didn't really care too much about how it looks because y'all not gonna be seeing that anyways so um i didn't even really want to record that whole process because it was just such an awkward process like let me tell you my i had so many cricks in my neck like i it's just it was a long it was a long process i was up to like three o'clock in the morning I, I always end up being up to like three, four o'clock in the morning when braiding my hair because it just takes so long. I honestly don't understand why it takes so long to braid my hair. I'm gonna show you first. I'm gonna show you how to do one in the back. And then when I get back to the front, I'm gonna show you again how to do it in the front. So first and foremost, I got six, actually I got eight packs of hair in total. I got three packs of the bobby boss new locks in the color four hold on in the color four right yeah so i got three pack of 18 inch locks okay 18 inch remember that number 18 inch then i got another three packs of the bobby boss new locks color four and length 14 14 so I think that's a total of, um, quick math, quick math, 32 inches. And then for my wrapping hair, I got the Deja Vu Passion Twist hair. But it's also in color four. And yeah, I ain't really get a particular length because this is just what I'm wrapping it in. So I, I, it didn't really need to go all the way down. But y'all are gonna see that later. Got a weaving hook. This is what it looks like. Um, Diane, uh, what? Di yeah, it says Diane, yeah. Opens up like that and then it has a little latch. Y'all see this one braid right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the 18 inch. Open the loop. It's a loop, you should see a little. It's a loop. I hope y'all see this. But I'm going to loop the crochet hook through my braid, place the lock in the hook. Yeah, place the lock in the hook. Pull it through. All right, now you're gonna unhook that. And now it's connected through my braids. Please don't mind my middle finger being missing. Adrian, if you see this, please fix my my middle finger, please, please do. See, I have this loop, and instead of grabbing the lock, I'm gonna grab my braid and loop it through and pull. So now it's now it's secured to my braid. Now for the fun part. Now that I have the 18 inch, I'm gonna make two, so I'm gonna twist it open. So make two strands at the end. I got two strands now. Now I have my 14 inch lock and I'm going to take the top of it and open that loop again. So I make a loop, my fingers, but then I have these two pieces at the end of my lock. So I'm going to loop one of the pieces through here. It's just hanging and these two pieces are right here. You're gonna tie a knot with these two strands. Tie it really, really tight too, like 
extras. Oh, oh. Oh. Double tie the knot. So then you should have like a north and a south. You're gonna wrap the north string around the top. So you just gonna wrap it. So see how it's like you, you can't even tell where the string is. You're gonna do the same thing for the bottom, the south, the south string. So once you wrapped it, I'm gonna do like this so that it doesn't come loose. You have a whole lock now. And so next, you're gonna take your passion twist hair or whatever hair that you choose to use. You're gonna take your passion twist string and you're gonna untwist it. You're gonna make it one long string. Pull this apart. You're gonna get two strings. And you're gonna take the string and you're gonna fluff it out. But you can like do like this. Like you can, you know, go down and just pull it, you know? Your hair should end up looking like this, just a little, you know, stretched out. And so what you're gonna do is, okay. so you're gonna have, have, it, have about like an inch or so to hang off you know, in the same line with the braid, with the braid, the lock, and you know, the passion twist hair. Hold it, make sure it's, it's, it's held tight, and take your thumb. You're gonna wrap it around the root a couple of times. So one, two. Just make sure it's secure at the root. And then you just gonna, you know, make your way down and wrap it till you get all the way down to the end of the hair. If your hair is colored and the lock that you're doing isn't the color of your like hair, please make sure that um you are wrapping it really close together so that your hair isn't peeking through. So now that I'm at the bottom, sort of, I'm just gonna rub it like this. So my first mistake of doing this first lock was not using both the strings because I forgot about the string. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that now. Update. I double wrapped it and that literally got, well I mean you can still see a little bit but it looks 10 times better now that I've double wrapped it. So got the first one done and now I'm just gonna go through, do them and so let's get it. And I'm gonna show y'all how to do it again up when I get to the front just so it can be like a refresher because I'm actually not really sure if y'all can really see what I did back here. So as you guys can tell, it's a whole new day and um, obviously um, I got tired. So I had to put a hat on because <gasps> you just snatched it off on camera like that. I showed it. I didn't even, you know, like I didn't, I didn't even get to finish before I left the house today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish, and then once I get to like this front, this front row. Once I get to this front row, I'm gonna stop and show you guys um, how to do it again. Okay, so now that I got that pin to the back, um, we're gonna go ahead and do these. Have no hope, no hope. Bitch on a man, we know advance, we know advance. Give my nigga a chance, try to see what he gon' do. He done ran on the bands, I done got me some bands too. I can drip on the ground too, so my hood let it down too. I can't decide, this point and call him a ride. I'm the fan of Rose's body is part. I made the bump, he let the wise. And honestly, with 
the parts honestly just make the parts according to how full you want your head to look i didn't really want mine to like really fill up my head but honestly now i think about it i probably don't need three packs of hair because i've literally only used two packs of each and not definitely not gonna need to touch that third one like that third one is not getting touched at all the number of packs that you need really depends on how full you want your locks to look so if you saw my parts and that looks around the size that you want your parts to be get 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 two packs of 18 two packs of 14 and two passion twists so since I said I was gonna wait till I got to the front part of my head, I'm at the front part, finally, thank God. But I'm at the front part. And I have these two pieces. So we're just gonna. So I got it really good focused so you can see my two parts. So I'm gonna take my 18 inch and it's going to be like that at the top. You're going to put your finger through the little loop that it should already have up there. And it'll be like this. Take your hook. Hook. And make sure the latch is off. I mean, not off. But make sure the latch is open. You're going to put it through your braid. And make sure the loop is hooked on to there. Close the latch, make sure it's closed, and then pull right through. Take it off. Now, it's like this on your braid. So you're gonna open that loop back up. So have it open like this. And you have the lock and the braid. Now, you're not gonna pull the lock, you're gonna do the braid. You're gonna loop the braid, not the lock, just the braid through the loop. And then you're gonna pull tightly. And now it's connected. So this is the passion twist hair. It has a loop at the top. You're going to untwist it like so. And now it's one big string. The more you pull on it and twist it open it's gonna naturally break into two strips like that just like that and you're gonna pull it apart so now you have two pieces of it so now i've noticed that it looks better if you don't like uniformly like stretch it so this is how i stretch mine out you know kind of giving me cuban twist hair vibe so this is how i've been stretching my hair out but let me take another one out. so this is how i uniformly stretch it i just twist it and it just unravels by itself and just you know lays flat out but yeah so this you can't really get a good look at it but this is how it would look if it was uniform it's kind of just, you know, straight, just really just regular looking. I try to leave like a little piece like this at the end so that it's easier to hold on to while I'm wrapping it. You have your two right here. You're gonna take your flap and hold it with the other two strings. And then you're going to wrap it around the root a good two, three times just to make sure it's secure and hold in place while you're twisting the rest of it around your hair. So I just wrapped that thing like two, three times. And now for the fun part. So see how my thumb is right here? You're gonna wrap it and then push down with your thumb and then twist it around. So just see that motion? Like, and keep keep make sure it's flat and like make sure it's spread out while you're um twisting it. 
So just keep twisting it and twisting it. Some more rocks in the watch. Spin the finger to the cops. Me get the world like to pop. Say the wrong word, get you shot. The whole world love you when you hot. They got he gave me a shot. They say much they thought I was shot. Shot. Took off and went straight to the top. They can't fit me a nigga too high. You need to stop. And you just wrap it to all the way at the end. And then do like this so it but now if it'll focus it looks like this now and you can kind of see that little red sticking out but that's why we gotta double wrap it okay there it goes now we have our next piece and we're just gonna wrap it around and i'm gonna fast forward this part because y'all don't really need to see me slowly wrap this around living a lie, lie. you know we keep still like the shot, shot. i know i'll be rich before i die, die. they won't respect you till you try gonna make a slit at the end of your 18 inch lock that you just attached with these two strings you're gonna take a 14 inch lock and there's gonna be a loop at the top and you're gonna open the loop not that hard you're gonna thread one of these through here so you're just gonna take it and thread it through and it's gonna be like this now I like to kind of twist this loop back closed just so it looks a little more seamless, but you can leave it open if you want to. So now that you have it, you know, on there, you're gonna tie one to two knots, depending on, you know, how you want it to look again. Um, so now you're gonna have a north and a south string. Okay, just like this. You're gonna wrap this string around here you're gonna wrap this string around here so and this curve is you know it's all of it is is twisted up so it's gonna naturally go back in place with the rest of the lock just like that and now you just have one string one string left and now you're gonna wrap that one and then you're gonna wrap it with your hands and now it's looking like this this is where this is where the um we, we just connected the two the two locks right there but now like I said we're gonna burn it well I'm gonna you can burn it too but I just I just recommend burning it, it just makes it you know kind of look kind of look more seamless and now you have a full lock so I just have one more to do and then I'm gonna show you guys how they all look together so this is how it's looking this is the full and do like a high up deal like a half up half down type of type of deal I don't even, I don't even do my edges. I don't even do my edges. Edges are done. Thanks for watching my video on how to do 32 inch sock locks. Um, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications and comment down below video suggestions. I'm reading all of them, I promise. I need to come up with an outro because I can't just keep doing or do y'all like that? Like, do y'all, are y'all okay with me doing it? Or do y'all want, like, another? Because I, I, I come up with another outro, but I really like the, you know? So, like, comment, subscribe, 